Luis Hoibline McKegg was born in July of 1936 and passed away recently in November of 2020 after a battle with Parkinson's disease. McKegg got her roots as a painter, getting her BA from Barnard College and then going on to study with the Art Student League, where a friend would suggest to her to become a sculptor. After meeting her husband, William Ogden McKegg, they would both go to Michigan State University, where she would earn her MFA in sculpture, focusing mostly in aluminum and bronze casting. After returning from Hungary with her husband in an interview for Barnard College Alumni Magazine in 1978, she told the magazine interviewer, women were not meant to work from home. It is important for a woman to take herself seriously. Under these pretenses, it is no surprise that McKegg would use her artwork to help influence the feminist movement. Louise Hebline McKegg was a multimedia artist. She made sculptures as well as drawings. In her sculptures, she worked primarily with metals such as aluminum and bronze, although she often experimented in other materials such as plastics, ceramics, and even latex. McKay used her art and materials to explore human movement and humanity itself. Louise McKay's works often had to do with her own life experiences. She actively participated in several civil rights movements in the 1980s. These experiences, as well as the people she interacted at this time, were often reflected in the artworks she created. The piece visible here is titled Congregation, and many of the faces are based on people she met in her life. Years before her passing, Louise Hoyblind McKegg sought to document her fight with Parkinson's disease with a small booklet that depicted her brain's slow declining health. This pseudo-passport called Altered States 2008 features a collection of self-portraits and profile shots, which are attached to one another. As one views from left to right, McKegg's profile is added on to with increasing brain imagery like someone would see in a biology textbook. Additionally, as more of the brain is revealed, her portrait is faded until the last section of the booklet where the brain scan has overtaken the picture. Because Parkinson's affects motor movement as well as one's own mental health, it is truly admirable how McKegg was able to do some introspection and create this living diary of her struggle against the disease. Possibly one of the most intriguing aspects of her booklet is the quote she included on the passport's jacket. The anonymous quote reads, Adversity introduces us to ourselves. It is hard to imagine a better quote from McKegg to include on a booklet of her own diversity. From this perspective, it seems as if she was at peace with her declining health. When viewing the piece, one certainly gets a sense of morbid embrace that is both eerie and comforting. It is almost as if McKegg created her own passport to cross over into the afterlife. While Altered States 2008 is a very personal piece, one can apply it to the United States' current social and cultural questions surrounding feminism and race. With the world in disarray from viral and social and political issues, the past year has truly introduced everyone to their real selves. Finally, with McKig's emphasis on people she loved with her sculpture work, it seems like her dying wish would be for the world to discover itself and to heal for those she had left behind on Earth.